good morning, welcome in. I hope that you're doing well today. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me. My name is Deborah. this is Proosh Intuitive, and we're gonna be looking at your energy for the day. So let's get into it. These messages are always timeless. Whenever you find them, if the messages resonate, then definitely take what is meant for you. Use your discernment, leave what doesn't fit. When I am recording this, we just had Mercury go into retrograde. So retrogrades, <clears throat> excuse me, have a tendency, that's Mercury retrograde <laughs> right there, um, have a tendency to kind of block or bring things up that need to be addressed, block our movement forward, especially around goals, manifestations, things we're trying to bring into our life. Retrogrades help us see aspects, areas that are not working quite fluidly or that we need to pay a little bit more attention to so that we can enjoy what our successes are, what we're trying to manifest a little bit more easily. The energy has been fairly light. We're coming from a new moon, allowing us to set those new intentions to build the energy towards what we're trying to bring in. There is a little bit of heaviness in the air though as well. Heaviness around our feelings, our emotions, how those things are playing out in the day to day. It can make aspects of change and transition feel pretty overwhelming. Finding grounding and balance to the best of your ability. What I like about today's energy is there is more earth element in play. And Earth gives us that grounding. It helps us kind of root down into the practical, not feel so overwhelmed or worried about what is not playing out. Black Moon Lilith is definitely taking part in that today because she wants us to feel like what we sense is coming to head is not actually going to happen or we're delusional or... You know, it is it is this measure of like second guessing ourselves. So be really conscious and mindful of that as well. We'll start off with an energy clearing, set the tone, set the vibe, cleanse out any unwanted energy. And this is also a really good time to set your own intention as well. Especially if you have specific messages you would like to receive or questions answered. All right. I bless you with pure love and light, pure source energy, pure loving grace. Release anything that is blocking the highest and best messages from coming through. Any fear, any doubt, insecurity, lack of worth, lack of value, anger, frustration, impatience, disbelief, illusion. Cleanse it all from our being so we can receive what we need to in the right time, in the right way. Help to make me a clear and open channel for the collective. Thank you, Father God, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Mama Love. Amen. Okay, so like I was saying, there is a little bit of heaviness in the energy. It's attachment to what has been to the past. Like I said, some fear that you were wrong, that you didn't see something or someone clearly. And I feel like you are waiting on confirmations around certain things. This has been coming up in a lot of our collective readings. I've also been seeing it across the board with other YouTube readers. So messages coming in that bring clarity to a dynamic, to a situation that I feel is very important for you. I feel like you've had to have faith, trust in the process. Walking a little blindly is what I'm hearing, not really being able to see the way forward. 
but you've made a lot of progress. You've made a lot of progress and now it's time to open up. <laughs> I love that. To not be so afraid. I feel like this is actually this deeper layer of healing in the way that you have put yourself first, front and center, even at times when it was hard to make that decision, some of the challenges that are still lingering around are making it hard not to protect your energy, not to want to hermit yourself a little bit or not completely trust things, opportunities that come in. And these aren't necessarily big. I feel like these are more like confirmations on our path. You know, when we get those little like thumbs up <laughs> on the way that we're doing it right, we're in the right direction. And spirit doesn't want us to miss out. That's, that's definitely been a message that's been coming through as well. Not being so like blinded with our emotions and feelings, especially this specifically is coming through with people who have or situations that have really screwed us over, really been thorns in our side or made things very, very difficult for us. This is part of why you shut down because you don't want to get hurt again. And like I was saying before, I definitely get the sense that you have done a lot of healing. You have done a lot of growth. And for yourself, you specifically have done it for you. Yes, there's been support, etc. along the way. But you've had to be very, very tenacious about your approach. And why I'm saying all this is because it shows that you've done it. Good job. And now it's time to start trusting. Yeah, breaking free of the past. Breaking free of what was. Not letting some of those harder energies infiltrate what you have going on presently, what you're moving forward into. And I feel like for some of us, this has been really difficult, right? Because we have had to break free from something that was maybe deeply ingrained in us, a belief, an idea, a way of living, people that we were collaborating with, communi communing with. It changed your complete understanding of life and people and how those things operate. Again, kind of catering to that, wanting to shut down, wanting to self-protect. But new horizons. Okay, so yeah, 100% with this Three of Swords confirmation. Spirit saying, I see you. I see your grief. I see what is going on for your heart. I understand that it doesn't make it feel better, right? Like even if we get validation from someone from a friend, from someone we're talking to, etc., it doesn't it helps, but it doesn't make the pain go away. And that's what I feel like has been a struggle lately. You've been very diligent and determined in your focus, but there still is this underlying residual pain. We got the Ace of Cups yesterday, so I love this. So you're going from something that's very heavy, that has a lot of grief, into new beginnings that are just incredibly emotionally fulfilling places that you weren't even fulfilled in the past are coming in for you i mean we can't deny it right we're getting abundance what you worked for it's starting to pay off and you know sometimes we have to be a little bit more understanding of how things come in I feel like even when we do get something we want, we do get that validation, little thumbs up, reward, etc. 
there still is the pain. We, I, I'm really hearing, and not to overemphasize, but yes, to overemphasize, I'm really hearing that there has to be release around some of that pain around some of the letting go. I feel like you are closing a chapter with something or someone that has been incredibly pivotal in your life. It's been the point of a lot of change, but a lot of challenge as well. It's forced you, the challenge has forced you towards change and now you're lingering in this space of like healing you know yes even though we have three of swords present I don't feel like it's the dominant energy I feel like it's the energy that you're leaving behind that you are actively trying to walk away from you don't want to sit in the the sadness and the pain and honestly I do feel this is so beautiful queen of wands I do feel like um, the more you let go, the easier it becomes, maybe obviously, but then that's also when that message comes in. That's also when you start gaining more clarity and it gives you inspiration or a little pep in your step to keep moving forward. You are vibrant. You're bright. We're in Leo season right now. Queen of Wands energy is incredibly charismatic and magnetic. And that's what spirit wants you to bring to the table, especially if you're trying to open up, draw in new things, career, community, business, love, however that manifests for you. This is like saying, put yourself out there. You have a lot to give others. You have a lot that's valuable. And people want to share with you. People want to share in your life with you. But there is fear. And it's it's the fear of what's lingering from the past, from these energies that have been really immature, rude, selfish, I feel like you're getting something that you've wanted, but you never thought was going to happen. Like there's been this kind of, I can hear it or feel it. I hope I explain it correctly, but it's like, there's this hesitancy. There's this doubt in your mind. It's like, you're like, I really, really want that thing, but it's kind of unrealistic. You're feeling like it's not practical. And I do feel like it's directly connected to this Knight of Wands. Eight of Pentacles, someone coming to work with you on something. I'm hearing for some of us, this is that new inspiration. This is that new opportunity. Someone who is really creative, who has a lot of good ideas, who's willing to take a chance. And they bring money with them. And I'm not saying money is the only form of abundance, right? But it definitely helps. It definitely helps keep us stable. It allows us to do what we got to do to support, but then have fun and enjoy the life we live and build. And this is someone who wants to invest in you. This is someone who's ready, who's ready to kind of like work with you or give you that promotion or give you that raise or, you know, you connect with someone who has the job that you've been looking for, etc. This is coming in and you know, I feel like it is going to require a lot of you. It is the healing that you've done, the growth that you've done. It has not been in vain because I feel like this person brings like, you know, they bring something you need, but you are the front runner. You are the main person that is building and growing this in a really profound way. I feel like you also have to tell someone that something is done and over with, something didn't work out, having a really hard time working together, not being able to see eye to eye. Someone who got too lost in their head, right? They like their their head, their thoughts, it almost got the best of them. Yeah, and it made things move very, very slow. 
we have earth and fire energy on the board. So I like that, like I was saying. Uh, Mercury, Venus, and the moon are in Virgo today. And Virgo really supports our health and wellness. It allows us to stay balanced, to find that middle of the road, to really make sure that we are using our energy in the right way. And I feel like you've had to relearn how to do this for yourself because someone or something didn't know what they were doing, <laughs> you know? It's like they kept having to study. They kept having to kind of, they had no idea what they were doing, even if they pretended like they did. And it made you feel or question yourself. It made you question your ability. I do feel like this is past energy that is trying to come back in. But I'm not sure that there's going to be a lot of honesty within this conversation. 555 five, five on the clock. So this dynamic has changed. You've done enough growth and evolution for this dynamic to change. And that's what's bringing in, I'll pull a few on this new opportunity. That's what's bringing this in. Like I said, it might not be the person you expect, or it might not, you might be a little like <laughs> question this when it comes in because whomever brings it in does feel, I don't know, a little youthful, maybe immature at times. Maybe like they don't have all the pieces together and that's where you are questioning a little bit. But with this create Ace of Pentacles in our blocked energy, Spirit wants you to be willing to put yourself out there. It might not be like the end all be all of your life, but it's building a really strong foundation. It's giving you the opportunity to start something new. And as we move through life, we end up seeing that Something that might be a good fit for us may not stay with us long term. It might just be that stepping stone that gets us to the next place. And really, we just have to put ourselves out there in a different way, in a way that you've been thinking about. I feel like you have a lot of ideas brewing and you're ready to kind of bring those into light, but you're hesitant. And I think a lot of this is some of the pain from the past, the residual, etc. But there's also someone that we've been seeing who wants to come in, who wants to bring you something. And I feel like they both go hand in hand because it's either like you're not putting yourself out there enough. Maybe you are hermiting at your house a little too much. Maybe you need to go out, experience some things join a club, do something that interests you, you know, take a tour, whatever it is for you. Because I feel like that's opening this door. Right? Like we can't just expect the opportunity to walk to our doorstep, even though that would be pretty fabulous. And maybe someday that will actually happen, right? Everything's instant gratification now. So we'll be able to order it. <laughs> Order it on the Amazon, no. Okay, so we have two fives, and I also saw that five, five, five on the clock. So five of cups, five of pentacles. This, again, is that energy of wallowing in the misery. I do feel like this is past stuff. I'm hearing that this is someone who you are attached to. Yeah, this is someone who wants to work something out, who wants to talk through things, maybe give their version of events but coming from a lot of like sadness pain guilt justifying bad behavior is what it feels like you know I mean I'm all about um hearing people out right like hearing what they have to say but again, there is this, there is a reason why you're protecting your energy. There is a reason why you don't want to invite in things that have just not worked in the past. And I feel like there is this level of wisdom that needs to be had when this does pop back up. 
it does feel like it is definitely in your immediate environment, meaning that it is lingering. It's waiting to come in, right? It's waiting the Weber. I love this because it reminds me a lot of that concept of a woven tapestry. Every thread has its significance. And sometimes other things need to align before other things come in, just like I was saying before. And there is a lot being worked out right now. This is your soul work. I love this definitely represented in needing to be committed and needing to be focused and driven, having that emperor energy. And we get the empress pop up. So I feel like whatever this, like I was talking about, this new opportunity that's coming in that does have a lot of abundance attached to it, it is this amazing counterpart, but you had to be ready to, to receive it. Other time, if we are not, is what I'm trying to say, then, then we end up either losing it, we kind of ruin it because we're not emotionally, mentally prepared. We don't see its value. It feels unfulfilling. And I do feel like this is something that fits you so well. It is that beautiful compliment, power couple vibes always with the emperor, empress. And you're ready for this. Trust. Yeah, trust in the process. Trust in the fact that there still is un stuff unraveling, reworking itself together, being cleaned up from what has happened. It's making us doubt what's coming in. But again, that's where spirit is confirming that trust component. Trust in yourself. Trust in what you see, sense, and feel. And hopefully <laughs> this will give you a little encouragement and love support to continue moving forward. I know these not, are not the easiest energies, especially when it is weighing on us heavily emotionally. But you got this. You're way stronger than what you're giving yourself credit for right now. And sometimes if you just look up, you look around you, you'll be able to see reflections of that because that's what you deserve. So thank you so much for your time and energy always. I hope you found messages that resonated. If you did, definitely drop comments below. I'd love to hear. Or if you just want to connect, share in a little love and support, I would love that as well. Thank you for your time and energy. I appreciate you sending all the love and blessings your way.